who's ready to officially get this thing started? I got to thank everybody here at beautiful Port Aransas. The second year in a row we've come to this great facility, Fisherman's Wharf, and thank the fine folks here that have made, uh, made us very welcome this week. But this is an important event for those of you that weren't at yesterday's way, and this is a big deal in the redfish world. We have five teams that are made up of redfish anglers. They qualified through several different redfish tours to be here at this championship. We have five other teams that are Elite Series pros, Bassmaster Elite Series pros that know absolutely nothing about redfish, and their partners will confirm that, I'm sure. <laughs> but they are being paired with some great, incredible redfish anglers. So one of these anglers, uh, one of these teams tomorrow will leave here with $75,000 and the title of Yamaha Bassmaster Redfish Cup champion. How cool is that? Our defending champions, Ryan Rickard and Chris Zaldane, were in the mix yesterday, but we'll see how it all shakes out with our way in here today. And you guys are already doing something I was going to ask you to do, and that's make lots and lots of noise, because we've got cameras all around here that are watching this stream around the world, and they can't see all you guys, but they can hear you guys. So one more time, let's hear it, Port Aransas. All right, I'll bring up our tournament director, Hank Weldon, to get the skills set. And one more time, Porter Ranzis, are you ready? Yeah. Let's get ready to win our very first anglers. They are representing the redfish world. Let's welcome Gary Moreno and Bo Farm. Had 11 pounds, 5 ounces yesterday. They need 5, 6 to take the lead. 10 pounds, 12 ounces. They're your new leaders with 22 pounds and an ounce. A two fish limit in this tournament for our new viewers joining us. Two fish. The fish have to be between 20 and 28 inches. That's the slot. And look, double points caught it twice, ladies and gentlemen. Both suggested a second catch is worth an extra five pounds. I would give it to you, but uh, Hank is the official word. Can we add? No, he is not. He didn't even think about it. But you guys are leading this tournament uh, for now. A lot of anglers yet to come, but uh, tell me about your day. Today was uh, kind of a struggle for us. We, I really was anticipating a lot better day this morning, and when we get there, the fish are still gone. Couldn't find them. We went around and around that pond, and like I got stuck three or four times. <laughs> you know, we lost a lot of water. The wind was right. The sun was right. It was it was great. Decided to make a move. Came back over here. Saw some really good fish there at the end. Just couldn't get them to bite. Well, sometimes that's part of it. Sure is. And uh, you guys adjusted anyways and have a decent weight here today. Another shot of them tomorrow. Um, and good news is I think the weather's going to change yet again. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to be pretty tomorrow. And uh, we've got a totally different game plan tomorrow. We've been running... 40 miles one way, we're going to run 40 miles the other way tomorrow. We found some fish during practice to the north, and uh, we're going to go see if those are still there. But Wednesday, we really thought we had it a good shot at this because we've seen 250 fish in one little small area, and they would have bit anything that fell in the water, and it's, they're just gone. They're not in the whole area right now, and that's happened to me before. They just It's crazy how they move like that, and it's, it's crazy how every one of them get the memo, all right, boys, let's pack up and leave. Instead of just some stragglers at least staying around. It's, uh, you're going to get another shot of them tomorrow. The local gas dealers, thank you for making those long runs every day. And I'll let you go get gassed up. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Congrats on making it here. You guys are awesome. I wish I could put you in my pocket and bring you to every single event. Let's bring our next team up. Brett Roy, fishing with Elite Series champion, the little ball of hate, Wes Logan. Eight pounds, 14 ounces yesterday. One fish here today, one short of their limit. Five pounds, Evie gives them 13 pounds, 14 ounces. And uh, from the sounds of things around the tank, it, that was a last-minute Hail Mary. Absolutely. We found a straggler at uh, 2.15. We had zero keepers. And I told Wes we're going to fish till about 2.25. And uh, at 2.16, he caught that one on top water. So uh, it, it was, you know, at least we have something to weigh. But I'll tell you what, we we really had a, a hard time today getting the fish to bite. We 
kind of rolled the dice this morning and went to an area that we found some really big fish in practice. And uh, we had a couple of big fish uh, bite a top water this morning, but they wouldn't bite it. They just kind of come up and look at it. And uh, we, didn't, we didn't catch any, so we stayed probably till about 10 o'clock up there and uh, decided to go back where we caught all those. We caught 30 slot fish yesterday. We ran in that rough, rough water all the way back to our fish and got there, and they were gone. That's the long story short. Tough, tough break, but uh, Wes, when you catch one with five minutes left to go, is that good luck or bad luck? I, it makes you feel a little better. I don't know if it's good luck or bad luck. I, I've got a lot of bad luck going right now. Um, no, I mean, I, I kind of locked that top water in my hand all day because I knew, like, from practice, the few bites I got on it were, you know, good ones, and I think I had four bites today, and I landed uh, two of them. One of them was didn't measure, and that was that other one. Another one's a real big one, but, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Obviously, we don't have a chance to win. Uh, I want to give a shout-out to my good buddy and the guy I'm staying with this week, Drew Cook. I hope he's. I think they got a pretty decent bag. I hope they got a chance to win it tomorrow. Uh, appreciate his wife cooking for us this week, too. Uh, and thanks to all the bass staff. I know y'all work hard putting this together. Thank you, uh, Porter Ranzis, um, Skeeter Yamaha. Y'all do a great job. Great boat. I've been running in his bay boat, the uh, – what is it, 2550 SX. We ran through some, you know, pretty good waves this morning. It handled really well. It impressed me, and that Yamaha is rock solid all the time. So we'll go out there and catch some tomorrow and have a good time. Always great to have you here. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Our next team qualified for this event. There's been two of these. They've qualified for both of them, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome Chris Cincy and Chris Kennedy. The only team with the exclusion of our defending champions, which get a bye to come back, that has requalified to be here two years in a row. They had nine six yesterday, two fish today, eight pounds, four ounces. Gives them 17 pounds, 10 ounces. They move into second place currently, just four pounds, eight ounces short of the overall lead. We'll let them hold up a few and get some pictures here for all the viewers watching around the world on Bassmaster.com. Let's hear it for Cincy and Kennedy. Seventeen ten, sitting in second place right now, and uh, I saw you guys when you came up to the trough a little, a little frustrated. Ah, uh, we cannot crack the code to this place. It is beautiful fishery beautiful place great looking water once again no fish stories we lost a few decent fish but it's just it's just jinxes we have we're, we're team dink team small fish but you know team lots of fun team small fish but it's all good we had a great time and our yamaha 250 sho is what gets us back and forth every day and we love it so that's all that matters good to have you back here safe so Team Dink is going to have to turn into, I mean, you're going to have to change things around tomorrow. And uh, But that's what Championship Sundays are for. I mean, if you watch tournaments, it doesn't matter what the species. We see crazy things happen. Could we see it happen tomorrow? I hope so, yeah. Any crazy things can happen. I told him, we're going to go home tonight. I'm going to drink beer, and he's going to find us a new place to fish. And he's going to tell me where to go tomorrow, and I'm driving. How's it going to work? Sounds good. Sounds like a great plan. I, I might... Plan this evening is not much different. It just doesn't involve a lot of planning for tomorrow. Let's bring our next team up here. It is one of our all-star teams. Jonathan Willis fishing with Scott Martin. 715 yesterday. They've got two fish here today. Need 14 pounds, 3 ounces to take the lead. 10 pounds, 13 ounces. They move into second place. Just 3 pounds, 6 ounces short of the overall lead. $75,000 goes to the winner this week here at the Yamaha Bassmaster Redfish Cup Championship. Let's hear it for them, ladies and gentlemen. Scott, uh, this Redfish Cup deal is it's an amazing event i mean great crowd showed up here today but uh man it's it's got to be frustrating to see some of these bigger fish i mean and you know the bites are out there well yeah, this is just a totally different format i've grown up bass fishing my whole life i love to saltwater fish caught a lot of redfish over the years never in a tournament though but to try to target fish that are not big not giants is kind of strange to me so we're having a hard time figuring that out we've caught a lot of fish each day 
we're kind of learning every day. So I mean, I, I'm, I think tomorrow might be our best day. Obviously, I think we're getting kind of figuring this thing out a little bit. He caught that nice fish today, and we had another handful of some good opportunities. But I'm going to go definitely drink beer with that guy that said he's going to go drink beer tonight. That's for sure. So uh, and let him drive tomorrow. That's a great plan. So, but I'll tell you what, the crowd's awesome. This Port Aransas is a great place. Uh, we're having a lot of fun. Hopefully come back. I want to come back here and do some just maybe film an SMC here or do some fun stuff around. And, and uh, I want to say a big shout-out to Skeeter and Yamaha. You know, they stepped up in a big way sponsoring this event. They make great products, of course. We're running the 240SX, and the waves have been really bad today. And that's a, just a really smooth riding boat. So, you guys want a really great boat that gets the job done, gets in shallow water, but also can handle the rough stuff? That 240 is awesome. Great stuff. Great stuff. I'm, uh, you had me at we're drinking beer. <laughs> Jonathan, um, what's it like to fish with Scott Martin? I mean, there had to be like when you guys got paired together where you're like, this dude is a future Hall of Famer. His dad's already a Hall of Famer. He is a generational fishing dynasty. Were you nervous? I don't know that nervous was the word, man. I mean, it's fishing at the end of the day, but, yeah, it is a blessing. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, Scott's a great guy. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better partner. Yeah, the frustrating part is the, the smaller fish have, have been on our end of the spectrum, but like Scott said, we've been figuring out a little more each day, and uh, I think, that, like you said, tomorrow will be our best day if I had to bet. And same thing, Skeeter, Yamaha, I mean, I couldn't be more grateful, you know. And I'm thankful to be here as well. I mean, anytime we get an invite to this place, I would love to come back. I mean, there's so many fish. I mean, that, that's the hardest part of this place. There's fish everywhere everything you roll by looks like it has a fish on it and it probably does you know so it it's been fun man i mean like i say we're gonna come out here we're gonna fish hard tomorrow and we'll see what happens we'll make it happen and um enjoy the beer let's bring up our next team barney white and Dwayne mills 14 pounds even yesterday they're looking for eight pounds, two ounces to take the lead here today. Two fish, nine pounds, ten ounces with 23 pounds, ten ounces. White and Mills are leading this event with 23.10. There's something you don't see every day, a pirate ship during a weigh-in. <laughs> they look like they're drinking beer, too, by the looks of things. Hold them high. Let's get some pictures. Two beautiful redfish right there. Okay, hold them. Just hold them one more time. Everybody go absolutely nuts so they can hear us on the boat. One, two, three. Show them how cool tournaments are. Guys, um, tell me about your day. Dave, we, uh, <clears throat> we were around alligators all day. We seen uh, probably five or six, and uh, well, the day started off pretty good. We uh, got into a spot, and we definitely found uh, the fish that we'd left yesterday, and we started catching them. We had a couple uh, mess ups. We uh, broke one off. Don't know if it would have helped us. And then we seen <clears throat> a couple dinosaurs that were uh, rolling around, and we were like, "Well, we need to move because they were messing up the water." And uh, when we got to the spot that we thought that our bigger fish were, we had lost about eight inches of water. <clears throat> so we had to scramble again, and uh, by that time, we figured that uh, our game plan was shot, but we figured that we need to go kick rocks some more, and we're going to do it. It kind of sounds like a long-winded, uh, the, the alligators ate my homework story to me. <laughs> Confirm or deny? Confirm. <laughs> <laughs> Barney, I called you Bernie yesterday, but it uh, turns out that Bernie catches him better than Barney. So do you want me to go back? Uh, that might be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know you're still in the thick of things and anything can happen tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Uh, you know, it, it was a tough day today, but, uh, you know, I, we're going to scrap our plan, go do something different. You never know what happens. Love to see you guys make a charge up and win this thing. Thank you for your service. All right, let's bring up another one of our Redfish teams, Graham Taylor and Copeland Moore. Uh, 
11 pounds, 5 ounces yesterday. Looking for 12.6 here today to take the lead. 13 pounds, 7 ounces. Just like that with 24 pounds, 12 ounces. We have a brand new leader here at the Yamaha Bassmaster Redfish Cup Championship. Let's hear it for Taylor and Moore, your brand new leaders with 24 pounds, 12 ounces. We have a special padded floor. That fish is actually in better shape from the drop, ladies and gentlemen. Do not worry. Well, it's in a lot better shape than some of the other people catching them out there. Trust me, you'll see them in coolers shortly. <laughs> not these ones, those ones. Um, sorry, I'm getting distracted, so save me here and talk about fishing. The fishing here is uh, something that we're figuring out on the fly. Um, we're not from here. Uh, the three days practicing was absolutely torrential weather. Uh, kind of has prepared us for this uh, tournament, basically. Things are shifting. We did 20 miles, 25 miles an hour to the south yesterday, 20 to 25 out of the north. Uh, we totally flipped the script in direction uh, to go to a different area that we had scouted and had limited luck. And we committed ourselves to an area and just kind of stayed confident in our beliefs. And uh, that's what this is about. And negativity will creep in at any time. And the bottom line is like your mental approach is your outcome. And right down to the last 30 minutes, that big fish, I missed one and was like, there was the right hit. And my partner Copeland stepped in right when I was down and picked me up within 30 seconds and hooked another fish that was in the same line as this fish. So I got to say thank you, Copeland. It's a great, great partner and great kind words there. The power of positive thinking is incredible, but I do know one thing, no matter what the species is, when people start gaining more weight on day two, things are going the right direction. You're leading right now. Regardless, you're going to be in the mix going out there tomorrow. Can we see some fireworks on Sunday? Yeah, we're going to push it, man. We're going to go as hard as we can. We're going to fish to the last minute, and we're going to, you know, every fish that's close is coming back. What would this victory, as, coming from a redfish angler, you know what I mean? We've got a lot of people from the bass world watching this, but what would this victory mean mean to you guys? This is this is the top of the line right here, man. This this event, uh, what you guys have done for the redfish world is is very, very big. It's it's an awesome combination of two worlds that are very similar, similar fishing styles. All these people, man, being around the, the pro anglers here, it's amazing for us. And um, this is this is the top of the top of the line for redfish guys, man. We we hope that there's something like with this kind of professional outlook and, and a series that um, we can build off of next year or in the future because our sport really needs something like this. Your sport's got some incredible anglers, and you guys are definitely some of them. We wish you luck and see you back here tomorrow. Boats leave tomorrow morning at 6.45. Remember to put your clocks back. Things change tonight. So 6.45 takeoff tomorrow. Now, I need you to get really, really loud because they are our reigning and defending champions. Get loud for Ryan Rickard and Chris Saldane. Did a good job defending their title yesterday. Finished in second place with 15 pounds, 13 ounces. They need 9 pounds even to take the lead. 13 pounds, 13 ounces with 29 pounds, 10 ounces. Once again, Rickard and Zeldane are leading the Yamaha Bassmaster Redfish Cup Championship right here in beautiful Port Aransas. I don't know if you can hear that. It's croaking. Yeah. He stopped. It's like, it's like when you put a mic in a kid's face. They always shut up. <laughs> two beautiful redfish there. And with those two fish, you guys have once again put yourself Two fish away from defending your title. And, uh, man, it's a lot of fun to watch you guys out there. You've got incredible chemistry. And um, another shot at it tomorrow, Chris. Yeah, here we are, two days into it, 29-10. Um, that's actually a higher pace uh, than we were on last year. 
Uh, and just like last year, we had that day two where it was a weird northeast wind, and it really shut the fishing down. And as you guys know, you know, when that east wind kind of blows through, everything just shuts off and things kind of stick to the bottom. Um, we're really looking forward to tomorrow. Last year, the conditions set up just perfectly, and that main area we had, all these big ones started showing up. Partner Ryan here, he's a captain. He puts me in front of these fish for the opportunity to catch these big ones. And, uh, and just like last year, uh, you know, tomorrow we're going to have that exact same weather pattern. So we kind of know what to expect. I know what to expect from him. He knows what to expect from me. So we're really looking forward to tomorrow and, uh, and trying to catch these guys. You know, we've been watching Redfish Track or Bass Track or whatever you call it. And, uh, you know, right when we got in here, it sounds like these guys had a pretty good day. So, um, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just really stoked to be here. That Skeeter SX240 absolutely killed it across those three-foot waves. What was the name of that bay we cruised across? Was it San Antonio Bay? or Port Aransas Bay, one of those giant bays. I don't he doesn't want to give the name up. You see, I saw that look before. That was, that was, he went like this. Yeah. Shut up, Chris. Shut up. While still smiling. Yeah. I'm come, on, come on over here. Come on, Dave. No more talking from him. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not the only trouble you got in today, Chris. It turns out, um, I've always said that Chris explains everything on the water. Like literally what he's fishing, what he's eating. And the folks from Stingray Pizza weren't happy with your review today. Uh, he said it was really good, but it had too much sauce. But there's a giant dude around the corner who wants to talk to you about that. So we'll see how that... I'm only joking, Chris. It's not real. It's just, it's just, it's like my hat. It's not real. Tell me about your day. So, I mean, to put yourself in this spot, dude, I mean, this, this has got to feel like a dream come true. You guys uh, are going to have a shot to defend your title. So rare. Yeah, we, we definitely are going to have a shot. I mean, we know we're going to be behind the eight ball. These guys here that are coming up are absolute hammers. They always are. Everywhere they go, they catch them. They're always on great fish. And you know what? It's good for, for, for me especially because it pushes me to be better. And those guys are so great, but we're going we're gonna to push them. And I want you all to know we're going to push you, boys. We're coming. But, yeah, it's going to set up perfect for us tomorrow. And we'll have our opportunities. We've got to make the best of them. We've got to not miss bites. We've got to not miss fish. We've got to set the boat up properly. Today we knew this was coming, like Chris said. We had opportunities today that we didn't have last year in the same day when that happened because we had more area, more location, to, and kind of figured that pattern out. So I am so thankful. I know it's been redundant. You guys are going to hear it a lot. But I'm telling you, the Skeeter SX240, absolutely the best riding bay boat in this nasty condition it drafts well it's not super super fast but it's got plenty of speed super dry ride if you don't have one you need to go look and get one one last question what was the name of that bay again <laughs> let's hear it for your tournament leaders ladies and gentlemen chris saldane and ryan rickard oh boy now for something completely different your reigning and defending progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year, Brandon Polnick, fishing with Michael Goodwine. 11 pounds, 4 ounces yesterday. Two fish here today. 9 pounds, 10 ounces. Puts him in fifth place with 20 pounds, 14 ounces. We're going to give him a chance to hold those fish up high. And then Lord knows where this will end up. Easy now. Remember, we have that special trampoline four back here, so everything's fine, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what, 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 what are you? I mean, I would ask you a question, but you won't answer it. You'll go wherever direction you want to go. So, how about I just put this microphone in front of your face and you tell me something? Well, today I wore white pants. You can't touch the microphone. <laughs> I, got on, I got on white pants today, so. I had to keep it clean. So that means you're okay. Yeah. I'm okay. And I picked up a couple of sponsors because of what happened yesterday. Yeah. Who? The pins, huggies, and dude wipes. This is your opportunity to turn to the camera and say, and that's why I was able to wear white pants today. <laughs> yes. Yes. Tell me about fishing with Brandon Polnick. He, he's awesome. Um, he actually outfished me today. But I'm the captain, so I was captain. That's my excuse. But, no, the dude is the real deal. And all day I was waiting for, every time the camera was live on us, 
I was like, please, please let him catch a fish. Do y'all want to know why I wanted him to catch a fish while it was live? Because I wanted to say, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Why y'all clapping for that? His name Brandon. I mean, you're a fan of him. That's yeah. all you're saying. Is you, you're big. Dude, I, I don't know if you're going to win this, but I don't know if anyone will have more stories about said tournament after this than you. I, we may not have the biggest weight, but we have a lot of fun out there on the water. Uh, I mean, we've been laughing all three days of practice. They said... We were going to be on live and meet. We looked at each other and we were like, okay, now we can't talk about anything we talked about during practice for the next eight hours. And uh, it, it's been a really good time. I mean, these fish are amazing. This is the second time I've ever been red fishing. He's an amazing captain. It's super fun. Um, you know, and, and he's not from here, so we're both trying to figure out where to go, what to do, how to change. Um, you know, if you're going to Tampa, this is the guy to look up because obviously you're going to have a good time and you're going to catch him. Uh, and it, I mean, super cool week, super glad to be here. Um, going to be a fun way to end the year. It, you're, for second time you fish, first time you fish a redfish tournament, yeah. second time you fish for redfish. Is it also the first time you've listened to music while competing in a fishing event? <laughs> during an actual tournament? Yes. <laughs> um, I mean, I listen to music during practice, uh, on the bass side quite a bit, but never during the actual tournament today. Well, even yesterday we rocked out, and we definitely blast the music all the way up. You guys can probably hear us for the next five miles in the morning when we le leave here. Uh, but, I mean, that's just how we roll. We're having a good time. Good time, and we're having a good time having you guys here. And today, I'll shake your hand. <laughs> Are you from Texas? No, no, I just bought the hat at the gas station okay. up the road, to be honest. Because uh, they say everything big in Texas. Uh huh. Yeah, and you're definitely not from Texas by the look of your fish, Mr. Goodwine. I do this for a living. <laughs> no, this is why, this is why, the, this is why I win, because I hold on to the micro. Okay, I'll give you a shot. I'm done. You won. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that was fun. Let's get serious. Your tournament leaders, ladies and gentlemen, from Louisiana, get loud for Edward Adams and Sean O'Connell. Had the day one lead with 16 pounds, 10 ounces. Today, they need 13 pounds and an ounce to take the lead back. 15 pounds, 3 ounces. With 31 pounds, 13 ounces, once again, they are leading the Yamaha Bassmaster Redfish Cup Championship. And I'm excited about that, but I really want uh, Michael Goodwine to make the Bassmaster Elite Series, because I can only imagine what that would be like. Chaka laka, ch -ch 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 giant redfish. Thirty-one pounds, thirteen ounces, and man, you guys um, are doing everything you can to spo spoil this suspense tomorrow. Because man, you you are you're catching like all the weights that were predicted coming into this. You guys are way ahead of all of that. And um, is it as simple as it looks? Like when we see you at weigh-in. I'm going to say it's not simple at all. Uh, you know, I, we went out there this morning. I was a little bit worried with that wind switch. But honestly, it played uh, to our favor because we got to, you know, stay in our zone longer with longer drifts. And uh, we had a couple of fish early, which kind of put it at ease. And uh, we got to just sit there and just do our thing and fish. You know, when, you, when you're not out there, you know, grinding and trying to just make it happen, you have a couple of fish early, it definitely takes the pressure off. So, and we kind of did our thing. And Eddie caught the two big ones today, which is I'm fine with being a net man any day when you bring in that kind of weight. And uh, it was just a good day, man. I mean, weather played out okay because I was worried about it. So I'm happy, very happy where we're sitting. Sitting in a great spot. And, uh, I mean, just being here, first of all, is an amazing accomplishment. Yeah, man. But, I mean, how bad do you want to win this event and oh, take man. it back to the redfish world? Man, I've, uh, I've been fishing the redfish tournaments a long time. I, I have yet to win one out of state. I've been close, but uh, if one out of state, it would really be special, man, especially the Bassmaster and all. I mean, 
extra special. Uh, today we caught about just maybe a few less fish than yesterday, but uh, apparently, <laughs> yep. I think they're coming to get me. I got there you go. go. Uh, apparently they uh, had the right fishing area for sure. I mean, you catch eight, ten fish a day. We wind up with two decent fish. I mean, uh, same as yesterday. Caught a couple of overs, a couple of small ones, and two pretty decent fish. Uh, still think if we get a couple of good bites tomorrow, you know, we get a real good chance to win this thing. Congratulations so far. Two fish away from becoming Yamaha Bassmaster Redfish Cup champions. Let's hear it for them as they make their way off the stage. All right. We got one more team to weigh in here today. Give me a little love for Kevin Aiken and Drew Cook. Drew Cook, obviously a Bassmaster Elite Series champion. Had 13-11 yesterday. Two fish here today. It's a lot of fun watching these guys on Bass Live today. 14 pounds, 4 ounces. They move into third place with 27 pounds, 15 ounces. And they are going to be in the mix of things, shooting it out on Championship Sunday. Remember, takeoff time at 6.45, and it turns out that redfish are harder to handle than bass. <laughs> Slippery suckers. Oh, that got you. <laughs> All right. There you go. Look at that. That's the beauty of still pictures. When you look at that picture years to come, nobody will know the fool that you were trying to catch it on the floor for the last 15 minutes. But you guys are catching them on the water, and uh, you caught a bunch of fish today. Look, I've seen, I saw you catch a bunch on live anyways. Yeah, it was a better day today. Uh, we kind of figured something out late in the day uh, after lunch. We got really lucky. My second cast this morning, we caught one of them um, on a chatterbait, and then it took us a long time to get something else figured out. But once we got it figured out, we caught them pretty good. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to it tomorrow. I wish we'd have had, you know, an hour, just a little bit left. We caught one that was just over. That was a great big one. Um, saw a couple of other ones that were with some of the fish that we caught uh, that were bigger. So I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. This is my my captain here, and he's put me on them. It's my job just to catch them. So whether I catch them with a net or with a rod, it doesn't matter. But he showed me around. He knows this place like the back of his hand. And uh, he's been super nice to fish with all week. With the time change kind of on paper, you will get that extra hour. To, I mean, you won't be allowed to fish an extra hour, but it'll feel like that to the fish. Does that mean you are going to squash everybody and win this tournament? Well, so tomorrow we will get an extra hour of sunlight while we're actually fishing. So we won't have to wait as long for the sun to get up like we have the past two days. And that's been a really big deal for us, um, you know, trying to look for them and, and catch them. And, I mean, that's – if I had to pick right now how to catch redfish, it'd, it'd have to be 100% just looking at them, sight fishing, um, you know, throwing anything that uh, – really, as long as you get it to them. I mean, that's my favorite thing to do bass fishing-wise, too. So we'll have more sun tomorrow. Hopefully they'll just be floating around and we can catch them. Love to see it happen. Kevin, you came into this event and uh, everybody – Talking about you as the local favorite coming into this event, and you've put yourself in a great spot. You're two fish away from keeping this title right here in this area. How does that feel? Well, you know, coming into it, we, we felt good about it, you know, until him and I started fishing together and realized we have the worst luck of two guys trying to find a redfish on stuff I know. But because of his skills, he's keeping us in the game. That Literally today, I could have sat back in the seat and be like, Drew, do you have one yet? No, okay, I'll be there in a second. But uh, it's been a joy standing next to this guy. Um, and we get a little sun tomorrow, it's going to change a lot for us as far as what we're doing, and we're looking forward to it. We'll be waiting for the sun the entire event. Love to see you take this title. Congratulations, guys. That concludes our day two weigh-in. Our tournament leaders, the same leaders we had yesterday, Edward Adams and Sean O'Connell, leading this event with 31 pounds, 13 ounces. Defending champions in second, Ryan Rickard and Chris Zaldane, and Kevin Aiken and Drew Cook in third place. The entire top ten competes on Championship Sunday. Takeoff tomorrow is at 645. And i got to thank you guys, Port Aransas, you guys are awesome. A great crowd here. Thank you for cheering on our anglers. And remember...
And remember, you can watch it all go down tomorrow on FS1 starting at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, let's finish this show off really cool because a bunch of people are watching around the world. And Port Aransas make lots and lots of noise like this was a lot of fun. You did it. You really did it. I'll see you tomorrow.